Hi there, beloved. It's Jyoti here. And I have a question for you. As I'm laying here contemplating so many different things about our world, the world that we are creating together right now, what does it take for you personally to be in the vibration, to be in the beingness? of love and joy and peace and happiness and gratitude right now. What does that take for you? Are you able to unplug from all of the false prophets, all of the people who are theorizing about how you need to focus on this or do this or show up in this way or, you know, anything that, that right now, anything that steers you away from the center of your being, your precious heart. Anything and everything that steers you away from that is like a false prophet capturing your attention, hijacking your awareness, and causing you to focus on something out there. And then notice, what happened, Delia? Is it okay? Your your car tower? Aw, you can rebuild it. Maybe even on a better foundation this time. <laughs> yep, and this is the real life that I'm living and I'm just sharing these thoughts and, and this moment by moment experience of how powerful it is and how necessary it is for you to stay centered in your truth and co-create the world that we want to live in. It's not going your way right now, huh? <laughs> and just like that, you know, honoring all of the emotion, all of the energy in motion that all of the things that are happening in our world bring up in us, but not getting locked into them, allowing them to flow, right? Letting them flow free. It doesn't mean you have to buy into them because the deeper question behind those emotions, behind those energies of emotion is how am I thinking, feeling, and perceiving with relationship? to this situation that generates this feeling for me. And I want to tell you that all of the predictions that people have made about what's happening on our planet, we can just take them and toss them right out of our awareness. All of them. Because the real truth of the matter is that right here, right now, you and I are co-creating this entire world experience that each of us has. And the more you can come back into your truth, which is unplugging from the politics of the world, which is unplugging from the, you know, the other groups that are saying, you know, that they are the ones who are going to lead us into the next, you know, there's no leader outside of you. It is the heart the heart is the guide. The heart has communion and connection with the ultimate destiny of all of life. The heart is what has that. The mind has stories and the mind is easily hijacked. There are so many, so many right now uh, forms of manipulation that are happening, of hijacking our attention. And some of them seem really good and really heartwarming. And some of them, you know, seem so wholesome and, and, and right until you start vibing in them 
And then you notice that your vibration becomes limited. Your beingness becomes limited. It is now about, beloved, owning the full power that you were born with, that you are, to make the qualitative difference in being who you really are, which is love and beauty and joy and abundance and bliss and unfathomable possibilities beyond what we can even imagine. And that's why I talk about so often, you know, coming back to that childlike, innocent wonder inside. That's the guide. That is what opens us to experience the real truth about life. We're not here now to take sides. This is what the mind wants everyone to do is to polarize and fight. We're at war. The mind is all about creating polarities and going, well, if you're not this, then you're that. And it's if then, and that's how, you know, the binary um, foundation of what computers are based on. We are not computers. <laughs> we are infinite beings of love that can change things as miraculously and, and, and magically beyond fathom. We are infinitely powerful, but our attention has been so captivated by things that take our power away from us and take even away our knowledge of our true power. And this is what I am here to assist you in restoring from the inside out connecting you up with your eternal self and our earth mother as we are evolving and transforming and transitioning all together. These bodies are made of the earth and the stars and the great central sun that we enter and exit through and go and create magical miracles together. And that, beloved, is what we're here for now. So what does it take for you to be at peace right now? I'd love to hear in the comments below. And I would love to hear how you perceive and how you receive what I'm sharing with you in this video. I send you so much love and so much affirmation and recognition of the immense beauty and unfathomable power of love and miracles that you are. I see you.